William Shatner's CD goes on sale October 11th. We are so lucky to exactly have exactly a week away from today. Congra and you are you are a busy man. The book, the CD, but I want to talk about this music because we were having so much fun listening to you screaming, "I am Iron Man!" Very <laughs> angry. <laughs> no, just trying to keep up with Zach Wilde, who's right. crazy. A heavy, I got a headbanger award, for, an honorary for a heavy metal. Heavy metal headbanger award. That's what we're talking about. I, I don't know how, I mean, your voice does amazing things on this spoken word album. How did it come about? Well, uh, a sheaf of uh, lyrics were laid out in front of me. I said, I don't want to do that, but what I will do is follow uh, Major Tom, the iconic character from the David Bowie song, follow him and, and speculate what would have happened to him when he exited the capsule using all those songs like Space Cowboy right. and, and uh, Rocket Brad Man Paisley. and uh, Brad Pitt. Twenty of the greatest musicians in the world are on my record and I'm so proud to be a part of it. I, I want to show... Seeking Major Tom. I want to show um, our, the, our audience a clip. Bootsy Collins and you do she blinded she me, with, blind science. me with science. Take a look. It's poetry in motion. She turned her tender eyes to me as deep as any ocean. Look and listen to you. As yeah. sweet as any heart. You're speaking, but you're still... Well, it's in the rhythm. Uh, words are the rhythm, so I don't sustain the note, but I think that's highly overrated. Well, when you're not uh, being a musical genius, you're writing. Prolific writer, your new book is called Your Guide to Understanding the Shatner Verse. Uh, Shatner Rules is the name of the book. It debuts today, uh, and I'm very happy and proud to make that announcement. The book covers your prolific career. Uh, one thing I was shocked about was that, uh, not that you've worked so long, started acting when you were six years old, but you say you've never taken a sick day. That's right. But the book is not only funny and a great amusing read, but it, it expounds on saying yes to opportunity, mm -hmm. saying yes to life, opening yourself up to life. By saying no, you're saying no to uh, life. Yeah. And so the book is an amusing read, very funny and yet it, it, uh, it has something to say. One of the things in the book, it is very funny. Uh, fun fact, nurse, um, you debunk the myth, if you can tell us quickly, of that iconic phrase, beam me up, Scotty. Well, I never said beam me up, Scotty, but everybody says beam me up, Scotty, but it never happened. If re how, where did we get it? I don't know, years? where did you get uh, uh, anything else. <laughs> so, okay, so there you have it. And flashback nurse. I, I love your play on, on the chat, on the chat. Well, it's, it's an attempt to uh, amuse the reader and entertain them and at the same time uh, tell them something that was at least meaningful to me. It was something else very meaningful to you and I really enjoyed your movie, your um, documentary, uh, documentary called The Captains. Thank you. Where you get all of the people who have played, the actors who have played the captains um, on the, in the Star Trek movies that's coming out series. It's coming out as a DVD in a couple so of weeks. It's so fascinating. I love the advice that you got, you admitted, from Patrick Stewart. Isn't that wonderful? Uh, I had felt the derision I thought of Beam Me Up Scotty and listening to Patrick he changed my mind. I had an epiphany about what I was doing. And that was being, accepting the fact that for all of your prolific body of work, you will always be to us. Well, Captain James I, I, I was and, and still am. Uh, it debuted the captains on the Intrepid, the aircraft carrier here, one evening a few months ago. Sun was setting the skyline of uh, New York and a thousand people on the landing deck of the Intrepid watching that film. So it comes out as a DVD uh, in a couple of weeks. You just don't quit, do you? And, and really, really some wonderful stories. I do want to do one Facebook question. Please. We've had so many people express interest in you. And we had one viewer who asked, um, let me, uh, Tom Babich asked, will you ever make amends with George Takai? <laughs> it is what that means. <laughs> How does one make amends? Uh, it's, it's, uh, too it's, long? It, yeah, it's too long. It's a long, uh, a turgid story. It has no meaning whatsoever. Well, we would like to think that that, that incredible team that you worked with is all Oh, they're, everybody's fine and happy. Congratulations on everything. Thank you. You are as naughty as ever. I am. <laughs> <laughs> what do you know? <laughs> William Shatner, everybody. Book, uh, music, directing.